when the train is about to come. The man who was waiting for the train suddenly fainted, fell headlong off the platform, but no one around was willing to give him a hand. Some people even took out their cell phones to take pictures. The moment of crisis. Only this old man did not hesitate to jump down, quickly helped the man up, and he himself was in the same place and did not move. The people around were shocked by the old man's actions. They then knew. The old man who just saved the man's life wanted to die. The old man's name is Ove. This is actually not the first time he committed suicide since the death of his wife. Ove had been in a state of grief and depression. His parents are long gone. His wife didn't leave him any children. Now that his wife is gone, Ove became a lonely man in the world. When he first committed suicide, he was wearing the same suit he's wearing today. Ove hung a rope from the ceiling. Then he stepped on a bench, attempted to hang himself to death. But this time he didn't succeed because a new neighbor had moved in outside. They couldn't park their car for half a day. As an old driver. Ove couldn't stand it anymore, so he gave up on suicide for a while. He cursed and went out to help them park their car. Ove's temper was not good, although he was soft-hearted. But the mouth is very poisonous, so Ove didn't have many good friends. After he took care of the car, he went back to the house and prepared to kill himself. But before he could get the rope around his neck, the new neighbor's kid ran up to his window. Ove was afraid of scaring the kids. He rushed to take the rope off. It seems that today's suicide is not going to happen again. Ove had to wait until the next day to find a suitable opportunity to hang himself. The next morning he went to his wife's grave. He expressed his fervent thoughts to the cold tombstone. Then Ove went home. He closed the curtains and continued his death plan. He wanted to reunite with his wife soon. Instead, the doorbell rang at an inopportune time. The neighbors next door thanked Ove for helping them park their car yesterday. So they brought him a lunchbox. Ove was furious. He sent them away with a few words. He went back to his room and stepped on the stool to the unknown again. This time Ove succeeded. When when one is unconscious, the past will all come back to you. Ove saw himself as a child. His mother had just passed away. His father, who spoke little, rarely communicated with him. Only when he saw Ove's report card, his father was only happy. But it was also because of Ove's report card. His father, who was showing off was hit by a speeding train and killed. And his memory was instantly stuck here. It turned out that Ove had woken up. The rope around his neck was broken. Ove was furious. He turned around and went to get a pipe to connect to the car exhaust. Ove wanted to suffocate himself. Just like before, he saw his old days again. After his father died, Ove had a hard time due to the refusal to demolish the house. Ove's house was burned down. He lost everything in one night. He was left alone with only one life. Ove had to sleep on a train. But it was here that he met his wife. Life. She was beautiful and generous at the time. Ove and she had a great conversation. It didn't take long for them to get along. His wife knew that Ove had nothing, but she still chose to stay with him with determination. One day Ove got up the courage to propose to his wife. His wife said yes with a smile on her face, and then there was no more, because Ove woke up again. This is the third time the old man has killed himself. He was going to poison himself with exhaust fumes, but a knock on his new neighbor's door pulled him back from the brink. But Ove wasn't too grateful to her because the new neighbor had come to bother him again. Her husband had fallen and hurt himself. The new neighbor asked Ove to take them to the hospital. While the new neighbor accompanied her husband to the checkup, Ove took on childcare duties. At the end of the day, after he dropped off the neighbor's family, Ove went on to commit suicide for the fourth time. In order not to be disturbed by anyone else, Ove went to the train station alone. He was going to commit suicide on the tracks. But when he saw a man fainting and falling down, Ove could not resist pulling him up. But when it was his turn, he did not walk and did not move. The train was coming. It was so close to Ove, south close, that he could see the eyes of death. The people next to him kept urging him to get on. Ove's eyes were only those of his childhood. He remembers when his father father was hit by the train and killed. How much pain he was in. So he didn't deserve to die the same way his father did. So Ove took a hand. He was saved. But he wasn't happy. He came home to another stray cat on his doorstep. Ove was even more annoyed. Unfortunately, the neighbor kept trying to persuade him to keep it. Ove was so angry that he wanted to scold her away. But then he suddenly felt sick. It took Ove a while to recover himself. There are always some health problems when you get older. Ove didn't bother to fight with his new neighbor. He kept the kitten anyway. A few moments later, Ove took the cat to visit his wife's tombstone. He knew his wife was very kind, wouldn't approve of him abandoning the cat. So Ove decided to put off the suicide for a while. He had to find a better home for the cat. But he didn't know that pets have the power to heal. 
deal. After he got the cat, Ove's mood gradually became better. Not only did he promise his new neighbor he would teach her how to drive, he even went to afternoon tea with his new neighbor. The new neighbor was curious about Ove. She asked him a lot of questions. Ove told her all of them. Since his wife left, Ove hadn't talked to anyone like this for a long time. The new neighbor was also very familiar. After she learned to drive with Ove for a few days, she left her kids at Ove's house to play. Since the couple had to go to the hospital for a review, they had no one to take care of them. Ove agreed to their request. Ove, who had no experience in taking care of children before. In fact, he had a great time with the children this day. In the evening when the children left, Ove couldn't help but look at the cat on the bed and think, if this were his child how good it would be. And about the children, Ove is not without regrets. But many things cannot be forced. This is not only his regret, it is also his wife's life regret. The problem of the child is the only thing between him and his wife cannot say. Just like the death of his wife now is also the bottom line that he cannot be touched. But there are always people who are not so kind, who like to expose people's wounds. Just because Ove wouldn't let a blonde guy drive in the neighborhood, the blonde guy talked about Ove's wife. I don't know all about her wife, but her wife is so happy, and we are all about all of them. I don't know, I don't think it was just that you were not directly to it. Ove was instantly furious, the emotions that he'd been able to suppress at this moment. It exploded again. Ove returned home in a fury. He felt that the world was so unfair. It was meaningless to live. So Ove planned to kill himself again. The old man was going to kill himself again. He took off his neat suit and played music to the cat in the bedroom and finally picked up a gun to prevent the blood from spilling on the cat. He also sealed up the bedroom to die. But also consider the cat is how good people should be off. Then Ove closed his eyes and pulled the trigger. But who knows? Ove went out in anger. He found that the person knocking on the door was his wife's former student. The student had had a fight with the family. He came to beg Ove to take him in. For the sake of his wife, Ove agreed to take them in. But the next day he woke up. They made breakfast for him. While Ove was out for his morning walk, the students also followed Ove. Ove hadn't experienced this kind of breakfast with people for a long time. Walking with people. Unfortunately, a happy feeling didn't last long. He heard that. He heard that his best friend was being forced to go to a nursing home. Ove, of course, could not accept this, so he looked around for help, but because he's usually so vocal, now only his new neighbor is willing to help him. The new neighbor told Ove, he would help him on one condition, that Ove must reveal, the pain he was hiding in his heart. With the new neighbor's forceful request, Ove finally revealed the most painful thing in his life. He and his wife actually had a child at the beginning, but a car accident took the child's life. Ove survived, but he lost his healthy wife. The accident left his wife paralyzed. Her life was ruined. Ove's world collapsed too. But his wife was surprisingly strong. She not only taught herself books at home, she even got into teaching. But because of her leg, many schools refused to hire her. When Ove learned about this, he went to the school where his wife applied for a job overnight, made a ramp for her. His wife finally got the chance to become a teacher. This was the happiest thing in Ove's life. But the child and his wife's leg became the sorrow of Ove's life. He always felt that he was responsible for the accident because he was the one who wanted to take his wife on a trip. Ove couldn't get over over it. When he told his pain, he felt miraculously better. After hearing Ove's story, the new neighbor finally understood him completely, and he fulfilled his promise to Ove. He brought in a reporter. He drove away the people who wanted to send Ove's old friend to a nursing home. Ove was happy.